Hello and welcome back to Ash of the Gods. And we are just about to fight some uh, heavy metal dudes, so let's get going. Unfortunately, that is not gonna help us here. And the thing is rushing in. Over oh, that is not not great. Not ever. But still. I guess that's our. Uh, uh, I don't know. Kinda, kinda feels inappropriate to call it plan, but that's how we're gonna go about it, I suppose. Oh, nice. Yeah, Finn really rushed in. Okay. He's dead. Great. Wait. Is he like dead dead or just uh, wounded dead? Wait a second, I can do the positioning. These have uh, like reach of two. Oh, okay. I should consider this. Maybe like swap it around. He can also buff the guys in the front. Well, it looks like we are dealing with archers here. Okay, I can have my counter attack higher, increase my. Oh, they are, they are tough. Counter attack by six. So I can we can only have one. Hmm. Killing an enemy. So we got two guards. Or not sure who they are, but they're damn tanky. Okay, we're gonna activate that skill. And just hit this guy. We're gonna go for health damage here. It also has retaliation on. So he's gonna attack back. Okay, it's my turn again. Sadly, he can't really go in. We're gonna activate the other retaliation. Can we have a, like a healer in the party? This looks like a tough fight. Oh, he has retaliation as well. Okay, let's increase his defense. My turn. Can I take him out? No, I can't. It's close. Increases my energy when I kill someone. I guess we can do a card on him. Decrease health by 10. They're just defending. Should I increase the health as well, somebody? I can increase someone's defense. Uh, I guess he can use it. They don't have ranged. Okay, he needs to go in. Can we just increase his speed? Okay, we can go there. And go for an attack on that guy. Just do health damage here. Wow! Piercing attack, didn't know that. Okay, he's definitely not too useful here. Okay, uh, how about... Counter the by 12. Doesn't end turn. Probably not gonna get attacked, but we need to get in closer with him. Oh yeah, skip turn. We have no action. My turn. He's dead. Okay, I guess we can go for defense. I'm just getting closer.
finish off this sucker. Oh, when he kills somebody, he also gets defense. Mm, this is a good time to do a piercing strike as well. I don't know if he had access to that, but it, this, it certainly wouldn't be awesome in this uh, fight. Wow. They really want him dead. Can't move. Can increase his defense. I just do health damage. Oh, he has counter attack seven, so he should try to die. Wait a second. Can he, can he counter attack if I go back? I don't think he can. No, he's not in range. I can increase his health. So we he probably doesn't die. We're in trouble, guys. He needs to act, but that's not great. So, you wanna have at least two front line? Maybe, I... But this is de definitely an extreme game. Extreme, uh... Challenge, because... Well, we lost one, Archer. And I have three front frontliners here. And two backliners. And that's not working as great. I just do anger. Well, that guy is actually somewhat weak. Uh, who can finish off this guy? We can't spear him to death. He might be able to do it. Yeah, he can do it. Also increases his defense. Only problem is that no, oh, it's not gonna count. He's not gonna counter attack because he's dead. Oh my god, he's dead. Or is that just a wound? I don't know how the game works. It cost me a lot of health to do damage. When you kill an enemy. We don't have to go for that. He's tanking right now. What we have here? All damage received is dealt to energy. Okay. Uh, we gotta do energy damage. Oh, he's getting buffs. Okay. Deal 8 damage, counter attack. It's pretty unlikely that we're gonna get attacked. I just keep doing energy damage. Alright, armor is definitely helping us there. Uh oh. Well, it's probably best we go there. Ah, uh, let's just do health damage. Okay, we took energy damage. And this should be the finishing move. I don't know. I guess we gotta take Torn Brennan. <clears throat> and he's okay. I was actually uh, tempted to finish him up with Sop. Because Sop is just that good. We got... Five at the four fragments for this card. Yeah, I already have that. So did he suffer a, a wound? I think I think these suffered the wound. Yeah, he got the most XP. He got the least XP. And those who died didn't get a lot of XP. <laughs> Fleet is dead!
The battle ends, and you realize that Flit has been killed. You approach his body, kneel and close his eyes. The boy's death feels like it's your fault, and you realize that all your companions may similarly perish. You go upstairs, well aware that every last one of your men will take your words to heart. Every last one of us may die, you say. But nobody, nobody's death should be in vain. A battlefield is no place for grudges, quarrels, or score settling. Krieger sighs heavily. I'm to blame for his death. I shouldn't have lost my composure. He was too young and took my filthy words to heart. <clears throat> Flit was too young for such tribulations. <laughs> Gladys sobs. I'm not much older. Whatever. Who, who in Terminum cares? Death certainly doesn't. You order Flit's corpse be taken, uh... Be taken to the manier. He needs a proper burial. But first, you need to figure out what in the world is going on. You notice Ramlin on the bridge. He totters along with his with lifeless eyes. You know the horrors he's seen and want to approach him, but Gleda beats you to it. Ramlin hugs her and starts crying, nearly choking on his tears. You can't can't bring yourself to interrupt him. Gleda tries to calm him down, and you listen to his uh jumbled account of what happened in the empty village. Judging by the blood stains, some of the bodies were thrown in the river, and uh, some... He goes silent, and you turn to your attention uh, turn your attention to the man here. Yeah. It's not ideal. Well, we lost one. But I think the spear guy actually just uh, maybe taken a wound, and if well, according to the game, if you take four wounds, then you're dead. It looks like if you just take too much damage and you go down, you take a wound. I'll let just talk with Ramlin first, right? In spite of everything he went through, the lad seems to be seems to have regained his senses. <clears throat> they killed everyone in my village. Some even. Some were thrown in the river, and others... You saw you saw corpses along the road. There, there are even people from the neighboring hamlets. Why do these bastards do this? I don't know. Seems like they savor suffering and death. We've purged this place of ab abominations, and we'll kill any more that we find. Touching the locket on his neck. <clears throat> My grandmother thought I was wizard material. She even gave me her amulet. Let me come with you. The one... I, I don't want to be a wizard. I, I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take the amulet, please. I, I'll take it. What a thoughtful gift. I don't know. I like to be the goody goody, but we might need them. What do I do with the man? Okay, let's just refuse to take the locket. I'm I'm trying to be the good guy here. Some battles are won by wizards, not warriors. Wizards are actually warriors too, in a sense. Your grandmother's amulet is encrusted with a strix. That explains a lot. Keep it. And now, if you're ready to fight and follow orders, you can come with us. Is there anything else you would like to say? Oh, we increase his loyalty. Listening nervously, Ramlin opens his purse with shaking hands and gives you several magical cards. How do you come by magical cards? They're heavy, like lead, and hot to the touch. And you say that you don't want to be a wizard? These these cards used to be my grandmother's. I, I played with them when I was little. She said that if I, if they became heavier, it would mean that playtime was over and something uh, bad was brewing. I, I want to give them to you. You're my senior. Senior, <laughs> you should use them. <clears throat> Do you even realize what this is? <laughs> What's that to realize? My grandmother said that these cards aid those who want to use magic or shield themselves from it, but have no sh shamanic power of their own. The cards are Quimran, and the Quimran themselves are said to be the descendants of the abominations. I've heard of them, but didn't expect them to reclaim the power. I want a couple myself. Who could have guessed that ancient trinkets would come in handy? The reaping has begun, Torn. What used to be superstition and legend is manifesting with magic. 
You must have noticed that some items are displaying special properties. The cards are no exception. What use are your cards? <laughs> you can normally deduce what the card does, based on the picture. They are not for wizards, remember? They are for people without special powers, so each card has a hint. Using them is easy as spy. Close your fingers around the card and use your will to direct its power. Very useful, no arguing about that, but I'm more at ease with my trusty sword. You can't scatter an enemy detachment with a bunch of cards. Who knows? I never used them myself, but it's possible that a card might trump a weapon. But remember, if you give the cards to another person, they can use them too. Why some of them are broken? They're not broken, just incomplete. I remember the time my grandmother procured a handful of uh, shards. She assembled the picture and the shards sort of glued together themselves. Do you suggest I go everywhere looking for these shards? It's up to you. People have always collected fragments of these cards, even though they didn't know what their true value. Didn't know their true value. Use them as amulets and souvenirs. That's why many merchants sell them. Same goes for items containing Strixes. Thanks, but we need to go. Be careful with these cards. Anyone can use them. Sometimes it's better to use a weapon instead of uh, standing around waiting for something magical to happen. Don't tell me what to do, lad. <clears throat> I know that you shouldn't take any chances with magic. I'll keep my sword close by. If you're right, these plagues uh, will be handy in combat, and combat is unavoidable. Well, you can come me count on me and make haste. There's something odd and evil emanating from the Manir. I wouldn't tarry here. You watch Ramling go and notice the combination near the wounded woman. Gladys stops you as you run up. She's... <clears throat> She's giving birth, Dad. Chase them all off and let Ramling do his thing. Seems he's the only one who knows what to do. Everyone runs around looking for clean water and rags. You didn't even feel this much pressure when commanding an entire squadron. After all the pains, you're f finally rewarded with a baby's cry. Gladda frowns deeply at you. The baby is safe, but we couldn't save the mother. She'd be through a lot. I'll go search to watch supplies for milk, but we need to find a place for the baby to settle in. We should do it now. What the hell? Why are you giving me that look? I didn't kill her! I wasn't the one who stabbed her. Come on. What happened here? You walk up to the manier and find familiar prints. The mysterious horsemen are answers. However, only two horses remain at the hitching post, which means that some of the abominations left before you arrived. You thank the gods for helping and you and you avoid confrontation with the cavalry of abominations twice. It's clear that time is short. The answers could return at any moment. Now let's check out this fancy rock. Hey, hey, Captain. Uh, what, what are you standing around for? Go take a look at Manir. Are you afraid to get your hands dirty or something? Not a pretty sight, though. Looks like uh, those fiends showered the stone with human blood. That's really odd. You see the monk fellow lying there. The answers forced him onto the stone, which killed him. Could it be that the ancestors po polluted the stone with one of their nasty rituals? I wonder. What in the world happened, Captain? Didn't you used to say that all that sorcery stuff was bollocks? Besides, the, these abominations are no match for the gods, that's for sure. Maybe we'll get rid of uh, these nooses around our necks. Wait. Do you have a death fish or something? That's for magic. I've seen enough crap over the last few days. What else could it be? But sorcery. I even saw a man drop dead the moment he touched the manier. I'm not arguing what you say. I'm just saying that you could have misinterpreted something. You know, I mean, the sacred stones couldn't just stop healing people all, all of a sudden. They've been working for eons. There hasn't been a reaping in centuries. Let's not foolishly add to the death count. No touching. We reached the double manier on the way to Ursus. Let's go.
Okay, let's just check out the grave. You decide against uh, burying the bodies that lie on the by the road. At least all the fallen beside the men here have found a common grave. You know further business here. As you prepare to head out, you notice Glad is in deep thought. Oh what? I I didn't mean to leave right away. Before you can speak, Glad beats you to it. Why haven't you let me onto the bridge, Dad? I'm a bad fencer, or were you going easy on me during training? You feign supreme, and who else would care for the wounded? Our men exa aren't exactly nurturing bunch, so I put my trust in you. And judging by how you handle uh, childbirth, I wasn't wrong to do so. As for going easy on you during training, that's complete and utter nonsense. Yeah, I can call all these lads uh, <coughs> to my defense. Sop will back me up. You turn to the lad, he nods agreeably. The captain never cut us any slack during training, and he really taught us well. Greta, your fencing is pretty great compared to many of us. You can tell the Gleda, shocked by all the praise, and decide to seize the moment. Grab your stuff, everyone. The child's going with Gleda. There's a squad of Ansys prowling about, so get back on your horses quickly. Oh, actually... I, I wanted to do that as well. It's kind of unfair that you have to do the, the nurturing because you're a woman. But I suppose I still want to... Uh, make sure that my daughter doesn't get hurt. Fisk has uh, an injury. And I can go for some upgrades. So we got Krieger. We can get more health. Wait a second. Krieger has a lot of health and quite a lot of energy. So let's check this out. Yeah, plus one to walking, plus nine health cost of the ability, plus nine damage, the onslaught. Wait a second. Can we check out his ability? That's onslaught. I don't know about health costs. That seems like a, a great way to kill yourself. Also, I like having health. Plus one to walking seems like a good one, but it, it's not always relevant. So I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to go for more health. However, uh, kind of useless it might seem. Now let's just go for... We can't go with more attack, unfortunately. More health is gonna be very minor. W would it be worth it uh, at that point uh, using up a lot of health and energy to do the onslaught? Stuns the target, pushes back enemy by two tiles. And this deal deals 7 damage, this deals 11, but also hits you for 7. Which is just... Why? Feels a bit too much. Of a cost. And this would make Onslaught even uh, trickier to use, but it could uh, allow us to one-shot people. Let's just get more health. Um, okay, let's see. We go and check out Sop. Sop is the next one. He's, he's tanky. He's, he has the same thing. Onslaught. I can just make him even tankier. He doesn't need really walking. I guess we're just gonna bump his health all the time. And Fisk? Oh, that's a good question. If we can bump his attack, which is great. Wait a second. Plus three damage. We can make his main skill, uh, Piercing Strike, deal even more damage. Let's check this out. Wait a second, can we heal the party? So, we can heal him. That, that would be a good question. Okay, he has 
a minor injury that makes him a worse fighter. Um, we got Piercing Strike, which basically the best attack we got right now. Onslaught is questionable. The other skills are are not great. So Piercing Strike is definitely the best ability we got. Deals damage to everyone on the line. Um, that could be potentially double damage, I suppose. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of defense. Wait, wait, that's a, that's a free skill, right? Okay, I think we're just gonna go with Serrated Tip. Okay, let's go with that. We can also go with, like, more attack. 40% of the attack. So our attack is currently... 12? And 20% is free, and 40% is 5? Hmm. Okay. Let's go. We need to head out. Okay, we also got Ramlin, who's a warlock. I'm not even sure what he does. Do we want to heal people? He deals 1 damage. Uh, loan. Power absorption. Oh! Increases your health and energy when you use a card. <laughs> Increases your energy by 10 when a party member dies. Great! I love those kind of skills. Just kidding. Heal party. Uh, I have some strikes. Okay, let's see. Okay, we healed Fisk, so we... So it's possible. Uh, to get rid of injuries. Okay, fair enough. We got Sop, Ramlin, Hode. Hode is in there. Krieger. I think Sop is good. Hode is a bit crappy, actually. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, can we just take out the stone he has? Okay, maybe I should, I should be able to... Uh, yeah, override that. Yeah, it looks good to me. But I don't... Wait a second. Well, we are missing a space. Right. We can just put in hold. Oh, we want to put in Gleda. Uh, let's just go like that. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Okay. Let's go back. Let's give some orders. Oh. Oh, no, never mind that. In enemy territory, a campfire gives warmth, but the cold gives protection. Shadow Clan's code for warriors of peace. Damn right. Uh -oh. Year 1002 since divine retribution. Spring Equinox. Kingdom of Frisia. The city of Voden. A procession approaches the city. Hundreds, no, thousands, walk to Voden, shackled and closely guarded. Low pink. Ooh. Maybe this is a good time to take a break before we learn more about Wooden. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.